Yeah, my first trip to Africa was with George Shultz, who was then Secretary of Treasury in the Nixon administration. And he uh, took me with him to a World Bank meeting. And George Shultz didn't like to go anywhere with a lily white delegation. He was one of the, the first cabinet members that had a black chief of staff. Uh, and I was on the banking committee. And he was going to Jamaica first and, uh, and asked me if I would join him on the trip to Jamaica. Uh, and I went and, um, I mean, I, with Jamaica, it was uh, difficult because my wife had just had a baby and uh, I didn't want to leave her. And he said, bring your wife and baby. So Bo went to Africa at three months old on a diplomatic passport. Uh, I mean, went, I'm sorry, went to Jamaica uh, at three months old to an inter-American bank meeting. And a few months later, uh, I went to Africa, uh, to Kenya. What was, it, what was it like for you, that, that, that first experience of Africa? Uh, it was a very good experience because um, I got out into the villages. Uh, I was, I saw Nairobi when it was in its prime, uh, and uh, when everybody still had tremendous hopes uh, for Jomo Kenyatta uh, and Kenya. I had read Facing Mount Kenya. I knew Jomo Kenyatta as a, an African anthropologist, uh, not as the leader of the Mau Mau, as the press had you know, painted him. Uh, and. Um, it was just a thrill to be in the presence of people like that. And, um, and also to be with a congressional delegation that uh, was seriously considering America's role on the African continent. 